I'm going to show you how to create Megan Fox's wet look. First, you spritz the skin with rose water, mix oil and loose mineral foundation. I do this on my hand. You can use a tray and apply using the stippling brush, which is a great brush for really getting into any enlarged pores, uh, fine lines and wrinkles, but also just creating that skin like finish. So you can see the coverage. So voila, I've done the whole face. Now I like to lock down my look with the HD Miracle Blur. I do it in areas where there's a lot of shine naturally, which is normally your T-zone. I like to do around my eyes because I'm sort of quite hooded. So uh, eye makeup doesn't stay on if I have oils around my eyes. And then just popping everywhere else. You still have a great dewy finish even applying this. Next, I'm going in with a liquid illuminizer. I'm going to, so you can mix this with the foundation, but I really wanted to create that illuminous look. So I just popped it on my cheekbones. Next, I am contouring with the Corrective Contour Compact. I love this color. It is really good. Uh, I can put it in my hairline without it going orange because I am quite fair. And I always love shaping my nose with an eyeshadow brush with this product. See, that makes it look really structured. Next, I'm going to spritz my eyeshadow brush with the rose water and apply the beautiful Coral Pearl, the most underrated color. Um, I apply this on all my lids, so there's no skill here. You can just apply, apply, and it sort of blends itself out naturally anyway. Wetting the brush gives it more of a pigmented look, which is what we want to create the wet look. Next, I'm gonna use my waterproof mascara as a liquid eyeliner with an angle brush. Um, you can see I use my hand because there's quite a bit of product on there. Uh, this is great because it is made safe, so it is great for the eye area. So you should not find your eye gets reactive. So starting on the wing and then you work your way in. Just along that lash line. And voila, done both eyes. <laughs> so a nice wing. Then I'm going in with my brow comb and I like the pushed up brow look. You don't have to do this. Um, I just like fluffy brows. And then I wet the angle, a new angle brush, not the one I did with the eyeliner. <laughs> um, and then I use my medium brow powder on my hand and just fill in that those sparse areas. So it's a fuller brow, really softly. Then I'm going to wet my biodegradable complexion blender with the rose water and apply the new last cream mineral blush on the apples of my cheeks. And then I go in with the blender and blend it out. It looks crazy bright, but I promise you, as you can see when you blend it out, it is a beautiful pop of color to really lift the cheekbones and add radiance. Next, I am going to, sorry, just finishing off the blush. There you go. See, you wouldn't have even known it was that bright. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. This is essential uh, for lifting your lashes. See the difference there? Doing both to the eyes. I like to pump the eyelash curler just to really get that lift from the lash line. And then applying the waterproof mascara, my favorite mascara. We also have the organic mascara, which is another great product, but I don't know why I just choose this one because of the comb. I feel like it really separates the lashes and adds great volume. And it's waterproof. Next, I'm going in with our Romance Multi Stick. This is great for the lips, eyes, and cheeks, but I'm just going to apply it very generous, generously on my lips. And I will be popping a little bit on my cheeks and my nose just to add a bit more of a flushed look. A 
It's a nice subtle pink. It's a great everyday color. See how that adds extra sort of warmth to my cheeks. Don't be shy with blush. You can wear more than one blush. Next, I'm going in. I'm doing it the other way around just so I can really show that lined bright pink lip. I'm using the bright pink lip liner. Oops, I just put a bit. <laughs> I should wash my hands between each step, which I normally would, but obviously I'm not doing this in a bathroom. So I've applied that on the lip line just to add real bright edging to my lips. And you'll see why next. This is super long wearing this lip liner too because it's very mineral based, so quite matte. Next, I'm finishing with the, to create that wet look, the Amal Style Icon Lip Gloss. This is one of my favorites. It's great on its own, but it's also obviously great over the Romance Multi Stick. Look at that. It just makes my lips look super healthy, hydrated, and plump. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish with the oil in my hair. You don't need to do this. I just wanted to finish the wet look. But that is the look from Megan Fox, created with the dawn.